My name is Mary Fogarty McAndrew, Chairperson of the Johnny Fogarty Foundation for Persons with Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. I am honored to be receiving the Gordon and Laura Gunn Leadership Award today. My heartfelt condolences go out to Gordon and the entire Gunn family on the loss of Lily last year. First and foremost, I would like to thank Research America and Mary Willie for their ongoing efforts and support in advocating for funding and policies that enhance the advancement of medical and health sciences research. I would also like to acknowledge my fellow honorees for their outstanding contributions to cutting edge research, public health, legislative achievements in government, industry, academia, and the humanities. Congratulations to all. Recently, we have all witnessed the devastation and unimaginable losses brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks to the tireless efforts of scientists working in the labs, NIH, and around the world, we now have a host of diagnostics, treatments, and vaccines to help us combat this devastating health threat. My father, the late congressman from the state of Rhode Island and a staunch advocate for global health funding and research, would be gratified to see that the continued investments in biomedical research that he fought for during his lifetime have helped to lay the groundwork for the life-saving vaccines needed in this pandemic today. For 16 years, my dad served as chairman of the House Appropriations Subcommittee on Labor, Health, Education, and Welfare with oversight of the NIH budget. And for many years, along with his ranking member and dear friend, Melvin Laird, they supported health research funding for NIH. NIH funding went from 3.5 million in 1946 to over 1.5 billion for fiscal year 1967. That year, my dad died of a heart attack in his office at the age of 53 just before being sworn in for his 14th term. I was a student at Trinity College in Washington, DC, and my dad never planned to attend the State of the Union address that day. Over the last year, we have all had a crash course in global health. My father saw firsthand the importance of international collaboration for the many years he spent as the president's representative at the World Health Organization conferences in Geneva. As we have all learned so painfully, global health research is more important today than ever before. And we are only as safe as our weakest link. We are most fortunate to have the Fogarty International Center at NIH under the effective and inspirational leadership of Dr. Roger Glass. Dr. Glass directs a center that for more than 50 years has been a bridge between NIH and the greater global health research community, facilitating exchanges and partnerships among investigators, providing training and supporting research initiatives in developing countries. Over the last year, we've been reminded how critical it is to have well-trained scientists on the front lines to detect and respond to outbreaks when and where they occur. Fogarty's mission has never been more vital. My dad would be so proud of the work that has been done there. As I leave you here today, I want to say thank you to our appropriators, Representatives Rosa DeLauro and Tom Cole, Senators Patty Murray and Roy Blunt, their unwavering support of the NIH, and in particular, the Fogarty International Center. Thank you to the, to the Rhode Island delegation led by Senator Jack Reed, a senior member of the Appropriations Committee, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, Congressman David Cicilline, and James Langerman for their steadfast support of the NIH and other health care initiatives. As we continue to move forward, I urge you all to make global health research a priority. In the words of my father, time and time again, it has been demonstrated that the goal of better health has the capacity to demolish geographic and political boundaries and to enter the hearts and minds of men, women, and children in the four corners of the earth. Thank you.